Hi guys, this is Mark. I hope everyone's doing well. We've been having beautiful weather here in Arizona. This is, I think, maybe the best time of the year here in Arizona. Um, blue skies and moderate temperatures. It's going to be like in the mid-70s today. Um, I had a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Um, one of the things that has made me really successful on my food plan, I think, uh, you know, losing the weight and here in maintenance is that I really did not have a diet mentality. I had done diets in the past when I was younger and I knew when I started this journey in January of 2006 that it needed to be something that I could sustain for the long term. Um, I haven't tried every diet, you know, contrary to what a lot of people say that they've tried everything. I'm not going to say that I've tried everything, but I remember way back when I was like, probably only like 12 years old, um, there was something called the Beverly Hills Diet, I, I was on that, um, I remember doing something called the Scarsdale Diet, and then one of the last diets I had done before I uh, went on this journey was Weight Watchers, you know, I did lose weight on all those programs but I definitely had a diet mentality when I was doing those and you know don't get me wrong I mean I'm always very cognizant of what I'm eating I think that's just the way it is I mean even so-called people that are healthy their whole lives I think they're very conscious of what they're eating and indeed that's the case with me I still weigh all my food and it really has become my new normal it's something I've become used to. I mean I know that I could easily go back to eating the way that I used to, you know, all the junk food, the candy, the sweets, if I didn't make the choice to eat healthy. One thing that helps is, um, you know, this food plan really sustains me. It keeps me literally physically full um, and my body has become like a fine-tuned machine. I've said this before but when I used to binge and, you know, when I would eat whenever, whatever I wanted, continuously grazing all day and so on and so forth, um, I really didn't know what, what hunger was. I knew, you know, just constantly, literally trying to, like, fill myself. I'd eat a bunch of food and then not, not too much longer thereafter I would want more. So, um, but now it's like I literally, I feel that sense of hunger in my stomach, which to me is a cool thing. It's it's an on-scale victory. Um, you know, it's amazing how our body kind of um, gets on kind of like its own little clock where, you know, I, I spread out my three meals over the day and, um, you know, when it's time to eat, lo and behold, I can feel that so-called hunger pain, as they say. Another thing I wanted to talk about is I have weighed myself weekly all the way since January of 2006. So it's going to be eight years already uh, in January that I've been keeping track of my weight. I never really did obsess over the scale much. I guess I was fortunate because I never really plateaued. My weight loss just kept going down every week. Um, and I have that written down here. Right now, here in maintenance, I have what's called my lifetime maintenance range. My so-called uh, goal was 199, just just for the sake of getting into Wonderland, and that makes sense for my height. Um, so I had lost just I say right around 300 pounds, 
and I've been maintaining that. And as I was saying, as long as I stay within my maintenance range, that 10 pound range of 199 to 209, I'm good mentally. It's amazing how our mind really does play a part in it. I see a lot of people obsessing or, or worrying about, you know, oh, I gained two pounds this week or a half a pound or whatnot. But I mean, to each his own, but um, mentally for me, I just disregard any fluctuations. My weight does fluctuate, even though I never have counted macros, um, you know, fats, uh, calories, um, proteins, all that, sugars, all that stuff. Um, I do have, I do eat a proportionate amount of each of my food groups, but, uh, that's the extent of how technical I get with it. Um, this is an example, this is just a little, uh, representation of my, uh, weights, uh, over the previous few weeks here, which I'm going to show to you. Um, I think this will show up. So you can see October 5th, 207.0, October 12th, 207.6, October 19th, 207.4, October 26, 205.0, November 2nd, 206.8, November 9th, 207.2, November 16th, 207.8, November 23rd, 207.6, today, November 30th, 207.0. So, as you can see, uh, my weight uh, stays pretty consistent. And it's just a measuring device for me, the scale, and that's the extent of it. I weigh myself every Saturday morning uh, before I eat breakfast, of course. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well and has a good uh, holiday season. Take care. This is Mark in Arizona. Bye.